Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ethan Mitchell and today we're gonna go over the DJI Tello. I've had several people ask me about the DJI Tello and I myself was very curious about this little drone. Today we're gonna to see how this little drone does and put the footage against the DJI Spark and Unique Breeze. So let's run through the specs of the drone. The Tello weighs in at 80 grams, so you will not have to register this drone with the FAA. It has an 1100 milliamp hour battery that takes about an hour to charge through USB and gives about a 10 minute flight time. The Tello has brushed motors and uses an optical flow camera and IR sensors for positioning. The camera is fixed and uses digital stabilization. The IMU calibration takes about five minutes and the props must be removed to do this. They simply pull off and push on with the included prop tool. The Tello turns off and on with the single press of the power button. Once the Tello is booted up, it would rapidly flash yellow when broadcasting Wi-Fi. If there is no activity for about 90 seconds, the drone will power itself off. The Tello uses its own app that is very well laid out. The app features auto takeoff and land, hand launch and hand land, circle, up and away, flips, 360 and bounce mode. Under settings, you can switch between fast and slow and have options for VR, Wi-Fi, photo quality, units, low battery warning, stick mode, EV and bitrate. Pressing the box with the three dots will give you access to IMU and center of gravity calibration. So let's see how the Tello flies. This drone does not have GPS, so you don't have return to home, GPS hold, or any GPS guided smart modes. That being said, this little drone does an excellent job of holding position. The optical flow, IR sensors, and gyros do a great job at keeping this little drone stable. Circle will do a small orbit starting from its current location. This feature has a small radius of about 8 feet. 360 is a slow pan. Up and away is your typical droney and will move out about 10 feet. The camera records in 720p at 30 frames per second and you can adjust the EV to improve exposure. The Tello does not have internal memory so video and pictures are recorded directly to your device. The range is advertised at approximately 100 meters which in my testing we didn't even come close to. At 50 feet, we would lose the video feed completely, but we could still control the drone. At 30 feet, we noticed the video feed starting to break up. Now, because the Tello records directly to your device, any break in the video feed will reflect in your video footage. Basically, what you see in the video feed is what your footage is gonna look like. So let's take a look at some footage and put it next to the Unique Breeze and DJI Spark. So what'd you think? The video quality from the Spark and the Breeze are far superior compared to the DJI Tello. These drones are recording in 1080p to onboard memory and they both have far better Wi-Fi. The Breeze and the Spark both have GPS, which gives you return to home, GPS hold, and automated flight modes. So where does the Tello fall into this lineup of drones? It definitely falls into the toy category as it is extremely fun and easy to fly. 
anyone can easily pick this drone up and fly it. Due to its lightweight and prop cords, it is definitely safe to fly indoors. If you're looking for a budget-minded camera drone, the Unique Breeze at $150 is a substantially better option. And if your budget can get up to that $300 mark, the DJI Spark is hands down one of the best drones under $500. If you would like to see my full review of the Unique Breeze and DJI Spark, I will leave a link in the description. So there you have it, the DJI Tele. I tell you what, I'm actually really, really surprised how well this drone does without GPS. As always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this and our other travel videos, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.